Hi, this is Lawrence. Welcome to another episode of Awesome Property Series. Now, as you can read from the recent newspaper, in fact, even today, uh, the newspaper article says that the uh, property market in Singapore is getting more and more robust and uh, people are buying uh, property and people are even upgrading from the HDB owners. Now, they are moving to upgrade and buy private property, be it a new launch or a resale property now that resulting in a lot of HDB owners or sell, turn sellers they have seen uh, lately that they start to increase their selling prices uh, some of them even increase to such an extent that it becomes a new record price now is that the right thing to do there's no right and wrong of course, there are certain locations, certain type of uh, units, certain facing, certain uh, very much sought after units may be able to command account kind of prices. However, there are also some units that may not be able to command that kind of prices. And as a result, because of uh, lack of understanding, lack of how uh, consumer be uh, behaviors is like, uh, some sellers may also want to expect or demand that kind of selling price and as a result it will potentially result in a situation whereby the unit may be in the market for a relatively long time and without cost and what does that mean to everybody it, it just means uh, a lot of uh, marketing costs involved and that also would mean your real estate consultant may be working very hard uh, without results and also resulting in sometimes owners thinking could it be the real estate consultants concern problem that he or she may not be working hard to sell the unit now uh, it on the surface it may look like it, it is so however uh, many people may not understand every location every district is different every estate is different Every cluster of property is different. Uh, age of the property, whether it's uh, recently MOP or probably within the next uh, 10 years old property and comparing to some maybe 20 and beyond uh, of uh, age, all these will perform differently. Number one, the asking price is it a fair market value or is it slightly above fair market value or is it extremely high above fair market value where in your estate or in your clusters no one is asking the kind of price but you are the one who think that it can command the kind of price because we have been seeing quite a fair bit of newspaper article saying that HDB sold for one million dollars sold for more than one million dollars and therefore every HDB owner things or feels that their property may probably worth around the kind of price not to mention worth one million dollars now this will put a lot of stress on everybody and eventually you'll come to a stage whereby everyone is feeling frustrated because number one there are no calls and you start to be very upset asking why why is everyone selling so fast and, and my unit have no cause or you may end up in a situation whereby even if you do have cause owners uh, sorry the buyers may only offer what they think matches the uh, fair market value or perhaps some may like the house so much that they may be willing to pay a little bit of COV or cash over valuation but I've seen uh, places whereby Woodlands and all that, they're asking eighty to $100,000 COV, not to mention uh, some other estates. Now, is that realistic? Does that mean that after we have bought, subsequently when this whole thing is over, you are still able to sell at a kind of price? Not to mention the condition of the house that you may potentially spend a certain amount of money in that renovation now you want to find out more about how to strategize to select the key criteria following the key criteria in choosing the right house 
contact my details below and I'll share with you personally how not to overpay for your property. And that's all folks for today until the next episode of Awesome Property Series. See you. Awesome.